Well, the greyhound industry has been rocked by allegations contained in uh, last night's Four Corners program showing the practice of live baiting, where they've got possums and other small animals being baited up, sent around the track so that greyhounds can be blooded for this sport. Now, there's been calls for uh, the sport to even be banned immediately today. Is that too, going too far? Well, look, it probably is because there are people who do play by the rules. And I, you know, naively would believe that the majority of people in the industry probably do play by the rules. But the truth is, the stuff that was shown last night was quite horrific. These are people who should be get, shouldn't be allowed near any animals ever again. They're sadists. Some of the people in... It looked like scenes out of deliverance, some of the stuff we saw last night. There ought to be an urgent investigation... The real test for the authority is going to be governments are hauling huge amounts of money, huge amounts of money in gambling taxes out of the greyhound industry. You've got media outlets and media organisations hauling huge amounts of money out of the gambling industry and a lot of that gambling on greyhounds happens at night. There are, there are dozens of race meetings every few days at night filling the space and allowing punters something to bet on. So the question is, are we going to be able to divorce that vested interest and do something about this? And if it means the industry is scaled down or shut down altogether, well, so be it. Well, how much longer, though, as a, as a society, will it be before we end up getting rid of all sports where people profit from animals? Well, We've well, got the whip issue still racing in, in, in horse racing. It'll be eventually banned, the whip. Trotting. Yep. Is, it, is there a day that you can envisage where, in, say, in 50 years' time, greyhound trots and, and thoroughbreds won't be going around tracks anymore? Certainly, I think greyhounds and trots. The interesting thing about thoroughbreds is it's more problematic. There are so many big names and so many very influential people and so much money involved in that that you wonder whether the enormous conflicts of interest that are involved in thoroughbred horse racing will ever allow it to be reined in the way it perhaps should be.